everyone, Kendall here with Lousy Llama Creations, and today we're going to be making a turtle! A sea turtle, more specifically. Peanut is helping me with the video today, but this is a beginner-friendly pattern meant for someone who's never crocheted before. I'm going to walk you through the magic ring, single crochets, increases, decreases, assembly, stuffing, and all the little details of our turtle. For supplies, you're going to need a 5mm crochet hook, medium weight for worsted yarn in green, I have this like light brown and then a tan. You're also going to be needing stitch markers, tapestry needles, scissors, stuffing, and 10 millimeter safety eyes and a five millimeter crochet hook if I did not already say that. I also have two cats, Peanut and Cashew, who will be joining and not being helpful during the videos today. If you're following for my beginner crochet kits, welcome to the party. I'm so glad you got a kit. I hope you like it very much. Please reach out if you have any questions or concerns or supply issues or anything. Just let me know. If you're not coming for one of my crochet kits, also welcome. Welcome to the channel. I sell beginner crochet kits that teach people how to crochet. It comes with all the supplies you need, including those like tiny little things you didn't know you need, but you totally do when learning how to crochet. You can check everything out. Links below. You know where to find them. Let's hop into the video. I'm going to start with the top of our shell, and we're going to start by doing a magic ring. To do. Magic rings can be a little tricky in the beginning, um, so don't worry, don't freak out. If it takes a little bit to get used to, that is a-okay. We're all learning. I'm going to start by taking my tail, or the end of my yarn, and I'm going to wrap it around my hand to form an X. I'm going to hold it in the middle. With my crochet hook, I'm going to go under and then over and scoop this line through twisting it up and sliding it off my hands. I'm then going to do a chain one. To do a chain, you're going to place your yarn on top of your hook and pull through. This is a magic ring. Don't worry, I want to show it again. Have my tail wrap around to make that X and hold in the middle. under, over, and pull through, twisting up and then sliding it off my hand, tightening it and placing this yarn on top of the hook and pulling through. My cat Peanut has decided to come. Um, you'll have to excuse her. She loves being a part of videos. It's like the highlight of her week whenever I film. This is our magic ring. And now we have to put six single crochets on the ring. A single crochet is one of the simplest, easiest stitches in crochet. It's kind of the foundation of a lot of amigurumi or kind of stuffed animals because stitches are pretty tight. So there's like no holes or gaps or anything like that. To start, I'm kind of like opening up my ring. I have my tail here. And I'm going to be crocheting on my tail and the loop. No thanks, Peanut. So I'm going to insert my hook into the circle. And in case you're wondering why I don't kick Peanut out of the room, it's because I have sliding barn doors on my office and she can push the door open. <laughs> And that is why we just have to deal with how annoying she is. So I'm going to insert my hook through the middle, place that yarn on top of the hook, pull through. So you have two loops on your hook. You're then going to yarn over again, placing that yarn on top, and pull through both loops. That is a single crochet. We need to do this five more times. So I'm going to go through the middle, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both. That was number two. So this is three. This is four.
five and six. You can see each stitch kind of like this little V or little oval. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm then going to pull my tail so that it actually creates a little circle or a ring. This is the end of round one. I have six single crochets. I want to take my stitch marker, which is that safety pin looking thing, and I'm going to place it in the very last stitch that I made. This is going to mark the beginning and the end of our rounds so that we know when we're working in our spiral and we're going around and around and we're making our shell bigger, where the start is, where the end is, so we don't lose track. This kind of makes it so you don't have to count as much too, which is really nice. The next round, we're going to be doing six increases. And an increase is just two single crochets in the same stitch. So right now we have six single crochets. At the end of round two, we'll have 12. So yeah, two in each one. We're doubling up, so we have 12. I'm going to be working in the same direction. I'm going to insert my hook into the first stitch I made. It's going to be tight. It's not you, it's her. That's what happens. So I kind of have to wiggle it in, kind of pull it apart and stick it through. You want to make sure you're going under both parts of the stitch, both lines. <laughs> Thanks, Peanut. And then we'll make our single crochet, which you already know how to do. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through again. That's one single crochet. To do our second in the same stitch, don't move on to the next one, the exact same one. I want to stick my hook in and do another single crochet. I'm then going to move to the next stitch, which I can show you. It is like right here, working in the same direction. We're going to repeat the same thing of putting two single crochets in it. So one, and then two. You know, I do plan making my videos on when Peanut is sleeping. But when she hears me start to film, she wakes up. That was our second increase. We have four more to do. So going in the next stitch, I'm gonna do a sing two single crochets, one, and then a second. Into the next one, one stitch, and then two. Doing this again, our fifth time. And then now we have our stitch marker. This is our last stitch that we need to put stuff in. So I'm going to take out my marker, do our increase, one, and then two, and then I'm going to put the marker back into the new end of the round, the last stitch we just made. Now you should have 12 single crochets going around in that spiral. Next round you're going to start seeing some repetition and kind of like how we're making our shell get bigger, which is awesome. Best part about crochet, it's super repetitive. So once you mastered it, it makes sense so you can keep on going. The next round, by the end, we should have 18. And our little sequence we'll be repeating is one single crochet and then an increase. So in the next stitch, you're going to be doing one single crochet. We're done with this, so in the next stitch, we'll do our increase, which is a two single crochet. One, two. So it's a little sequence of three. One, then an increase. And we're gonna do this the entire round. So the next stitch, we're gonna do one, and then an increase. One, 
one, and then an increase. Go ahead and finish this round. At the end, you'll take out the marker and you'll do your last increase and then put the marker back. You can see our circle's getting a little bigger. Mine kind of flips out and that's totally okay. As long as it's not like crazy pointed, totally good. This with our beautiful clean stitches is the top. This where you can't really see the stitches and it has our tail is the inside or the back side, wrong side, also called. We're gonna keep on going and making our shell bigger. The next round we're gonna do two single crochets and then an increase. So one, one, increase. One, one, increase. One, one, increase. Go ahead and do this for the whole round. This is the end of the round. Shell's a little bigger. The next round, you might have guessed it, if one round was one single crochet increase, and then the next was two single crochet increase, yes, the next round is three single crochet and then an increase. So we're gonna do one, two, three, one, two, three, and then an increase. and do this for the entire round. Awesome, look at our shell now. This is as wide as our shell is going to get because now we're going to start making it deeper, taller, whatever you want to say. The next three rounds we're going to be placing one single crochet in every stitch. So going around we're just going to do one, 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 no increases, no nothing, just one single crochet in every single stitch. You're going to do this for a total of three rounds. So once you finish this one, take out the stitch marker, do the last stitch, place the stitch marker back in, and repeat two more times. So you should be going fully all the way around a total of three times. Don't forget to move that stitch marker up, and don't forget to place it back at the end. Now our shell is certainly starting to look like a shell. For our very last round, we're going to learn two new skills. One is a half double crochet which is a stitch a little taller than a single, and crocheting in the front loop only, which kind of gives it a cool new dimension. So when we're working in the front loop only, normally when we crochet, we go under both lines of the stitch. But when we're going in the front loop, we're just gonna be going in that front loop, exactly as it sounds. So to do a half double crochet, we're going to yarn over before we insert our hook anywhere. We're going in the front loop. So we're gonna insert our hook, yarn over, and pull through one. So you have three loops on your hook. Then you're gonna yarn over and pull through all three. Again, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through all three. We're going to do this for one whole round. If you're struggling to kind of get your hook through these three loops, don't forget to twist your hook down. Then it should slide more easily, easier, So I'm going to keep on going around and do this for the entire round. I'm almost to the end. I'm going to take out my marker, do the last one. No need to put your marker back in because we're at the end. Now, while we did finish the round, we're going to do one more thing just so our rows kind of line up. Because as you notice, half double crochet is kind of tall, so it doesn't quite line up with the beginning of our round. We're gonna insert our hook into the first round, oh, excuse me, the first stitch of the round. Do a slip stitch, which is yarn over, pull through. Oh my goodness. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. 
and then pull through again. This will kind of help even it out. I'm gonna leave a nice long tail for sewing, cut my yarn, and drop the rest of the yarn on the ground. There we go. And fasten off, which is when we pull the yarn all the way through. And now we have a little turtle shell. I'm gonna flip it out so it's kind of like our cool half double crochet round kind of sticks out when we sew the bottom on. It'll look more put together. But yeah, we just finished the top of the shell. For our bottom of the shell, so it kind of adds a different color and kind of closes up our bottom, we're gonna be doing the exact same technique that we started with and repeat the first few rounds of our shell so that the bottom matches up. So I'm gonna start with my magic ring. Under, over, pull through. Do my chain one and my six single crochets. I am repeating the exact same thing. So if I'm going way too fast, please go ahead and pause this video and go back to the beginning where I went a little slower. I just, once you master the skill, I don't want to bore you and kind of repeat it over and over again. But if you need more practice, no problem. Go ahead and pause the video and go back to the beginning. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna close my magic ring and put my stitch marker in. Next round, if you remember, is six increases. And that increase is just two single crochets in one stitch. Making sure I stick through the right part. <laughs> As I said, the first one's always a little tight. Do our six increases so that our six stitches become 12. Getting on my last one, taking out the marker, and doing my last stitch. Putting the marker back. Next round, one single crochet, and then an increase. So one, then the next stitch is an increase. Do this for the entire round. one and then increase so our next two rounds the next round is going to be two single crochet and then increase and then the next round is going to be three single crochet and then an increase so go ahead and pause the video and do the next two rounds I am at the end and you are actually finished with the entire bottom. Leave a bit of a tail, cut our yarn, and then fasten off by pulling that loop so it's not a loop anymore. And this is the bottom. See, it just kind of fits right in. I want to grab my stuffing and then we'll sew this on together. Make it a little easier for us, I'm going to trim some of these strings. Do not cut it too close piece will fall apart. I'm just gonna leave like an inch. So this is our bottom from our magic ring. I'm gonna do it for both. So it's just kind of out of the way. And then I'm gonna take our brown and put the tapestry needle on it or a yarn needle, whatever you want to call it. And we're gonna be sewing on this back loop 
which is that loop that we left when we did our half double crochet round. So I'm gonna put my hook, oh, excuse me, push my needle through so I'm right by the back loops. And I'm going to place my bottom into the shell. Now I'm gonna say here, there's a hundred different ways to sew on crochet pieces. Do whatever works for you, do whatever you like best and is comfortable. I'm gonna show you my method, but it is by no means like the ultimate, you must do this method. I like to go from brown to tan. I'll line it up a little better. Back to brown into the same stitches. So these are the next two stitches, brown to tan, back to brown. And I'm gonna repeat this the entire way. Go up through both, down through one. Up through both, down through one. I'm gonna go ahead and continue this. Do it till you're about three fourths of the way around. We're gonna need a little hole so that we can stuff it, but it's oh so much easier if we sew most of it and then we stuff. I'm almost all the way around and I have this cute little pocket. Oh my God, it looks, oh, it's look like a clam or something. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> I'm gonna take my stuffing. So normally I wanna tell you to pull your stuffing apart into like little clumps and then place it like one at a time to kind of give it a fuller look. But I'll admit because this is a turtle shell and it just does not need to be that fluffy, um, you can stuff it however you want. I will say you don't want to overstuff it. You want this kind of flat. So you're just kind of filling the top brown part. So smaller clumps just so you don't overstuff it. But it's okay if it's not ultra fluffy because it's like a turtle shell. I don't think they're supposed to be ultra fluffy. There we go, last little bit. It really does not take very much stuffing. Eh, maybe a little bit more. I don't want a flat shell, it seems wrong. Kind of shape it, yeah, okay. Looks like a little bowler's hat, so that means it's coming along. And I'm gonna go ahead and finish sewing. And Peanut's back. She was kicked out for a little bit and then she opened the door herself. And her brother Cashew is now awake, all oh, thanks to Peanut. And he's gonna be causing some chaos too. <laughs> As we're going around, almost to the end, we have this tail. It's gonna be so much easier if you just stuff it in. And then we'll just finish it like we've been doing. Going through. Now, instead of just like cutting the yarn, cause again, that will come undone. What we're gonna do is called weaving in our ends. And with a nice round fluffy object, it's super easy. I'm gonna, my tail's right here, what's coming out. So I'm gonna stick right by it and poke out anywhere that's brown. Don't pull too tight because you don't wanna mess with the shape. And then you'll cut it. If it sticks out a little bit, poke it through with your scissors, hook, needle, rub it through. And now we have a shell which without fins and a head does not look like a shell at all. Looks like, like I said, a bowler's hat. Uh, <laughs> so let's make some fins. So because you guys have already mastered how to make a circle, these are gonna be so easy for you. We're gonna start with our magic ring, under, over, and peanut, and cashew. Chain one, do our six single crochets exactly like how we've been doing. Nothing's different. Two, three, four, five, <laughs> and six. Closing it up. Next round is six increases. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now I'm gonna put my marker in. I did not put a marker in for the last round just because sometimes I find it easier to just count to 12 in my head as opposed to moving the marker just because it takes up so much space. But it's totally up to you and what you prefer. Whatever you can do is you can keep track. Next round, one single crochet and then an increase. So one, and then increase. Woo. One, and then an increase. Yes, all the way around, exactly like you've been doing it. Which you're probably like super familiar with by now. And if you're not, we're gonna be making four fins. So you will be by the end. Increase. So this is as big as our piece is gonna get. Now we're gonna do something cool. First, I'm gonna trim my middle, just so it's out of the way. And then we're gonna fold our piece in half so you get a little taco and we're going to be single crocheting through two rounds of our folded edges to kind of seal it up so i'm going to insert my hook into the next stitch and the stitch opposite of it and then make a single crochet and repeat again so i'm through, going through two layers and single crochet. And I'm gonna do this all the way around. Well, sort of all the way around, all the sides with the stitches. Don't go on this edge, there's no need. Just so it's nice and secure. This is like my favorite technique. I think it's such a neat shape. It looks so good and it's super easy too because there's like no sewing involved. Bam, just like that. Leave a nice long tail for sewing. And now we have our little fin. You're gonna be wanting to make four of these, but let me show you how we're gonna sew it on. You're gonna take your tail of the green, put it on your hook. I'm gonna put this here so you can see the layout, like the direction of the fins. I don't know if they're that important, but it kind of felt important. Mm, I want to make this the bottom one. And you're going to sew along your color change line. Here I'm going to be doing a whip stitch. Ooh, which I'm doing like backwards, weird camera thing. Which is like going over. So instead of going like up through one, two, what, whatever. I'm going over and over. So technically you can see my, my yarn when I'm sewing. Sometimes I don't want it to be seen, sometimes I do. Just like that. And I like them kind of flexible. If you don't, you can add extra stitches so it's like nice and tight. I wanna poke our green through the bottom and then trim it. And you're gonna repeat this four times for your little fins. It is not a turtle without the head, so let's make our head, which as you might have guessed it, is gonna start with a magic ring. All right, chain one, and then six single crochets, exactly like you've been doing, which by now you're like an expert at, right? Two, three, four, five, and six. Next round is six increases. Again, exactly like you've been doing. I want to count in my head to make it a little easier, but totally up to you if you want to use your marker or not. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
feet. Ooh, I flipped around. 10, 11, and 12. Putting my marker in because the next round we're gonna do one single crochet and then an increase exactly like our fins. So one and then an increase. It is not going to get any wider than this, but for the next three rounds, you're gonna be placing one single crochet in every single stitch. Just like when we did the top of the shell, so it can get deeper. So three rounds, one single crochet in every single stitch. Here we are, we have a lot of our head. I wanna trim the middle. And now we get to add our eyes, which is so much fun taking out my hook just so I have some more room to work with. We're going to be attaching our eyes between rounds four and five. So one, two, three, four, and five. So I'm put one here. And they're kind of like on like opposite sides of the head. Hmm, do we like that? Looks good. Let's look at our model. Oh yeah, that, that looks good. Woo, flipped them inside out. I'm gonna place my backs on. If you can get them to go on like this, that is ideal, but sometimes in the small space, I can't. So I kind of put the back on backwards. Totally fine. I've never had any issues with these eyes coming undone, but do be aware they are not meant for children under the age of three. No matter how you put safety eyes on, they are not meant for that. Putting our head back on our hook, and we have like two more rounds and we're finished, which is absolutely crazy. The next round, we're gonna be doing something different. We're gonna do one single crochet and then a decrease. If an increase is two single crochets put together, you might have guessed a decrease is stitching two stitches together. So we're gonna start with doing one single crochet and then a decrease. So we're gonna insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, so you have two loops on your hook. Insert your hook into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through. So you have three, three loops across two different stitches. Yarn over, pull through all three. Repeating it again. One single crochet. And then our decrease, which is insert. Yarn over, pull through. Insert into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through all three. I'm gonna do this for the whole round. This will make our shape start to close up um, so our stuffing doesn't fall out and it looks like a head with like a little neck instead of just like a circle blob thing. Woo. My stitch count is a little off. I know this is my last round. I thought I ended on the wrong one. That is okay. I purposely designed my beginner crochet projects so you're allowed to have some mistakes in there and it's still gonna look like a turtle. My stitch count is off. No problem. I'm gonna do a decrease. If this is 13 instead of 12 or 11 instead of 12 or 10 even, it's totally okay. It's all good. Our head will look just about perfect anyway. The next round, we're gonna decrease six times. Sometimes I find it easier to move the marker just because we're gonna be moving our hook around a lot. Do six decreases. One. Two. Three. See, this is where I'm gonna move the marker. Four, 
Make sure you're pulling nice and tight on these. Um, decreases, it's much better to pull tight. And I'm only gonna do five because my stitch count's a little off. We have a nice long tail. Cut and fasten off. Oh my goodness, it's not fastening. I kind of split some of my yarn, so that's why it kind of got stuck. No problem. Crochet is always fixable. With stuffing, I'm going to stuff the head, sticking my finger in there. If your finger is not the right size for that, you can use the back of your crochet hook or use scissors. Sometimes I'll use a tapestry needle, although I'll admit that is a little difficult. And I'm just gonna stuff, 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 stuff. Mm, I think he needs a little more. Boom. Now yeah, he's looking good. I'm gonna sew him to the body, putting the green tail on the needle. Which one's the top? Yeah, I think this. Instead of sewing underneath, I'm gonna sew on top. And sew however you want to get that head on there. I like to go around multiple times just so I can make sure because the head stays like nice and stable, as well as because we have stuffing and we didn't close it up all the way. I want to make sure none of this stuffing gets out. Going around. This one's always awkward. You're kind of squeezing and pulling. That's okay. It's not you. It's the turtle. It's even harder to do on camera because I'm trying to do it on a flat surface. Most of the time I put it in my lap and I just go to town. But you do whatever works for you. Like I said, sewing totally up to interpretation. Actual making of the crochet stitches, not really. But sewing, pff, don't let anyone tell you there's a certain way. Yeah, he's cute. Let's hide his tail. Trim. I still need to make my other fins, but you should have an adorable little turtle. And now you get to name them. I have named mine Frankie after Franklin, and he is just so cute. I am absolutely in love. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had a blast making this adorable little sea turtle. If you did, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps grow so I can provide more tutorials and I can just keep on growing and growing my business. I also have PDF crochet patterns as well as all those beginner crochet kits listed down below as well as a monthly subscription kit where once a month you get a beginner friendly crochet kit just like this little turtle. I'm really pushing hard on my Patreon which is my subscription club. Um, I've been really pushing hard on it. My goal is to get to 100 subscribers, paid subscribers. Um, and I think we're around 65 right now which is absolutely crazy but I want to keep on pushing and we're going to get to that number and I'm so excited to bring you all along with me as I do. To stay up to date with everything going on, I highly recommend following us on TikTok at Lousy Llama Creations, as well as Instagram, but TikTok's where you're gonna find all the up and coming projects. And trust me, coming April, I have some very exciting projects you are going to wanna be up to date on. Again, my name is Kendall. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in the next video. Bye.